Hello everyone. Welcome to today's session on NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. In this lecture, we will cover their classification, mechanism of action, pharmacological effects, adverse effects, contraindications, and special considerations. Let's get started. Introduction. NSAIDs are a group of drugs that have three main properties. They are anti-inflammatory, analgesic, pain-relieving, and antipyretic, fever-reducing. These drugs are widely used for treating arthritis, pain, fever, and inflammation. Next, classification of NSAIDs. NSAIDs are classified into three main categories based on their selectivity for cyclooxygenase, COX, enzymes. Non-selective COX inhibitors, examples, aspirin, ibuprofen, naproxen, diclofenac, indomethacin. Selective COX, two inhibitors, examples, celecoxib, etorococcib, rofcoxib. Partially selective COX, two inhibitors, examples, meloxicam, nebumeto. Let's see the mechanism. NSAIDs work by inhibiting the cyclooxygenase enzymes, which are responsible for prostaglandin synthesis. Prostaglandins play a crucial role in pain, inflammation, and fever. COX-1 involved in gastric protection, kidney function, and blood clotting. COX-2 induced during inflammation, pain, and fever. By blocking COX enzymes, NSAIDs reduce pain, inflammation, and fever. However, COX-1 inhibition also affects stomach protection and kidney function, leading to potential side effects. Selective COX-2 inhibitors, like celecoxib, reduce inflammation with fewer stomach issues but increase cardiovascular risks. Non-selective NSAIDs, like ibuprofen, block both COX-1 and COX-2, leading to pain relief but also side effects like ulcers and bleeding. Now let's look at the key pharmacological effects of NSAIDs. Analgesic effect helps relieve mild to moderate pain, headaches, arthritis, muscle injuries. Anti-inflammatory effect used for conditions like rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, and gout. Antipyretic effect used for fever management, ibuprofen for flu and infections. Antiplatelet effect aspirin irreversibly inhibits thromboxane A2, preventing platelet aggregation, useful in cardiovascular protection. Although NSAIDs are widely used, they are associated with several side effects. Gastric ulcers and bleeding. COX-1 normally stimulates mucus and bicarbonate secretion in the stomach. NSAID inhibition leads to gastric irritation, ulcer formation, and GI bleeding. Kidney injury. Prostaglandins help maintain kidney function. NSAID inhibition can reduce renal blood flow. NSAIDs should be avoided in certain conditions due to their potential risks. Peptic ulcer disease increases risk of ulcers and bleeding. Chronic kidney disease can worsen kidney function. Uncontrolled hypertension and heart failure. NSAIDs can cause fluid retention and raise blood pressure. Aspirin allergy and NSAID hypersensitivity can trigger severe allergic reactions or asthma. Pregnancy, third trimester. Risk of premature ductus arteriosus closure. Liver disease and bleeding disorders can worsen liver damage and increase bleeding risk. NSAID potentially interact with some class of drugs. Let's look at the table. NSAIDs inhibit platelet function and can cause gastric irritation, increasing the risk of bleeding. When combined with anticoagulants like warfarin or heparin, this effect is amplified, significantly increasing the risk of GI bleeding and hemorrhage. Aspirin and clopidogrel already inhibit platelet aggregation. Adding NSAIDs to this combination further reduces clotting ability, leading to excessive bleeding. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs, impair platelet function by depleting serotonin in platelets. NSAIDs further inhibit platelet aggregation, increasing the risk of GI bleeding. Both NSAIDs and corticosteroids can damage the gastric lining. When used together, the risk of peptic ulcers and GI bleeding is significantly increased. ACE inhibitors lower blood pressure by promoting vasodilation. NSAIDs, however, reduce prostaglandins, which are needed for vasodilation, leading to reduced antihypertensive effects and potential kidney damage. Angiotensin II receptor blockers help regulate blood pressure and kidney function. When combined with NSAIDs, renal blood flow can be further reduced, increasing the risk of acute kidney injury. Patients with kidney disease should avoid this combination. 
Diuretics help remove excess fluid from the body, but NSAIDs can counteract this effect by promoting sodium and water retention. This can lead to worsen hypertension, edema, and heart failure. Patients on diuretics should avoid long-term NSAID use. Lithium is used for bipolar disorder, and its levels are controlled by kidney function. NSAIDs reduce lithium clearance, leading to increased lithium toxicity, which can cause tremors, confusion, and kidney damage. Close monitoring of lithium levels is essential when NSAIDs are prescribed. Methotrexate is used for autoimmune diseases and cancer. NSAIDs reduce its clearance, leading to increased toxicity, which can cause bone marrow suppression and kidney failure. Digoxin is used for heart failure and arrhythmias. NSAIDs may reduce its renal clearance, leading to toxic levels that can cause arrhythmias and heart complications. Let's go over some special considerations when using NSAIDs. Aspirin in cardiovascular protection, low-dose aspirin, 75 to 150 mg slash day, is used for heart attack and stroke prevention. High doses act as an anti-inflammatory. NSAIDs in pregnancy should be avoided in the third trimester due to fetal risks. NSAIDs in children, ibuprofen and paracetamol are preferred for fever and pain management. Aspirin should be avoided in children due to the risk of Rye syndrome. NSAIDs in elderly patients. Use the lowest effective dose to minimize side effects. Let's summarize the clinical pharmacology of NSAIDs in a simple and structured way. Mechanism of action. NSAIDs work by inhibiting the cyclooxygenase, or COX, enzymes. This reduces prostaglandin production, leading to three main effects. Pain relief, inflammation control, and fever reduction. There are two key types of COX enzymes. COX. 1 and COX-2. COX-1 is responsible for protecting the stomach lining, maintaining kidney function, and supporting platelet aggregation. COX-2 is induced during inflammation and plays a role in pain and fever. Selective COX-2 inhibitors, like celecoxib, were developed to reduce gastrointestinal side effects while still providing anti-inflammatory effects. Pharmacological effects. NSAIDs have multiple actions. They reduce inflammation, relieve pain, lower fever, and, in some cases, affect platelet function. Common indications. These drugs are commonly used for headaches, arthritis, menstrual cramps, fever, and general pain relief. Adverse effects. However, NSAIDs can cause side effects, including stomach ulcers, kidney problems, increased cardiovascular risk, and allergic reactions. Contraindications. They should be avoided in people with peptic ulcers, kidney disease, heart disease, NSAID allergies, and in pregnant women during the third trimester. Drug interactions. NSAIDs interact with other medications. They can increase bleeding risk when taken with anticoagulants, reduce the effects of antihypertensive drugs, and raise toxicity levels when used with lithium or methotrexate. Monitoring parameters. While using NSAIDs, it's important to monitor for stomach issues, kidney function, cardiovascular effects, and signs of bleeding. Examples of NSAIDs. Common non-selective NSAIDs include ibuprofen, diclofenac, and naproxen, while selective COX-2 inhibitors include celecoxib and atorocoxib. That's it for today. If you found this useful, stay tuned for more pharmacology content.